Hey y'all, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I am Darren, of course, and today we're gonna do something <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it on the uh, YouTube channels, but we're gonna do a spatchcock chicken. We're not gonna sous vide it, we're just gonna spatchcock it, but we're gonna cook it on the Evo flat top on a rack. So we're gonna cook it all the way through. I'm gonna monitor it with the Typer sink here so we can make sure that it gets cooked all the way through. We're gonna see just how good this Evo flat top can roast the spatchcock chicken. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, like I said, I think I've, I've seen this somewhere like somebody said that they could do it. I don't know if I've actually seen a video of anybody actually really doing it. But these Evo grills, flat tops, are really expensive. Um, they are, you know, when somebody builds a home, uh, custom homemade outdoor kitchen, that's ones they usually get. Like I said, they're pretty expensive, but they last a long time, and they're pretty versatile. This has a pretty decent sized dome uh, lid on it so we're going to be able to trap some heat in there and we're going to actually put the chicken on top this rack so it'll actually be up off the uh, up off of the uh, flat top surface I just don't know how high we're going to be able to get this rack if we can open it up like this or we're just going to have to leave it like this where it just holds it off you know like a half an inch or so uh, but we're going to see the first thing I got to do is spatchcock the chicken. But I've got the griddle already uh, heating up. We're going to monitor it with the type for sink here because that's going to monitor both the internal temperature of the meat and the cooking temperature that's going to be inside that uh, lid and the dome. So it's going to be pretty interesting, guys. I'm going to go ahead and spatchcock this chicken, then we'll season it up. Spatchcocking is pretty easy. I'm just going to take my big knife and we're going to cut the spine out, flatten it out as flat as we can so we can put it on that rack. You can find a million videos on how to spatchcock a chicken. It's really easy. Just run your knife along both sides, pull out that spine, flatten it out, and that's spatchcock. All right, I'll be back when we're seasoning it up. All right, guys, I cut the uh, spine out, and I'm going to season both sides because I want this to uh, kind of brine while it's cooking in there as well. I'm using a, a new seasoning that I'm trying to put together, new Asian fusion umami type seasoning. So I figured I could use this chicken to kind of test this out. It's got a little bit of uh, coarse black garlic, but it's got some ginger, sesame seeds, soy sauce powder, little wasabi all kinds of different Asian type flavors here might put a little uh, spray oil on it as well just to kind of help uh, crisp up that skin but I'm going to try to monitor the temperature in here with the sink as well. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to put the first one in here and deep into the breast so that I can make sure that that gets cooked all the way through. I'm not going to put two of them in. I'm just going to put the one in right here. We should be okay with that. It's going to be pretty thick into the meat so I'm not making sure I'm not having it come out the bottom where it's really close to the uh, cooking surface I want it to be up here closer to the meat right in the middle of the meat so I get a good accurate temperature reading of what that meats doing but it's also giving me give me the uh, let me know how the cooking is going as well all right, I'm going to move you guys over here because I want to see just how we can put this on the uh, this cooking surface without it hitting the top of the uh, lid on the inside. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I measured this up here, and uh, it's going to be about uh, 
almost three quarters of an inch off of the cooking surface with the rack with these legs folded down like this. Um, it's going to give us about four and a half inches of room from the top of the dome from the cooking surface so it's going to fit there just just right. The chicken itself is only about uh, you know two and a half to three inches uh, thick so we're going to get plenty Hopefully the heat's going to move around and roast this chicken just great. I'm going to leave the lid uh, vent open, get some of that moisture out of there so we're not steaming the chicken for sure. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we got the uh, Typher uh, sink in there. And as you can tell, it's monitoring the internal temp of the chicken and the uh, cooking temperature. So we're going to set this up for our alarms. So we're going to set it to whole chicken, 165. It's telling us where to place the probe for the best reading. And that's exactly where we put it. So that's pretty much it. All right, I'll be back in a few. All right, guys. It's been about 18 minutes or so. And the typher is saying the ambient temperature is right at 377. So right about where I want to be, you know. I'm um, going to try to back down the the burners just a little bit. I turn the outer burner down to medium low again. I might have to crank it down just a little bit more. The analog thermometer on the lid is showing at 300. Even though that's a tell true, just not sure how accurate that is. <laughs> so um, I'd rather go by the digital. Um, you can see there is steam coming out the vent there in the top. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off for a second just so that we can see just how this thing is cooking. There we go. Yeah, some of that moisture is coming off. picture of that too but looks like it's cooking pretty good so far guys it's only going to take about an hour from what it's saying to the temperature that it's cooking at but yeah I'm going to back both of the burners down just so we can get closer to that 300 degree temperature or 350 or under 375 but looking good so far guys so you can cook a spatchcock on the Evo. I just wanted to show you guys the knobs, how I have the burner set. I think this is going to get me closer to that three, in between the 350 to 370 range. Um, it's still coming back up to temp for me taking the lid off, but if you can see where I got it adjusted, I got, this is the outer uh, burner here. So I got it just under medium low, closer to low, and then I got the center burner here more towards the low side so we're gonna let that run for a good 10 minutes or so right now it's back up to 352 um, cooking temp so I'm hoping that that's gonna get me right there and in, in between that 350 and 370 uh, 370 375 I don't want it to go much over that so yeah we're at 355 right now so we're doing okay all right, guys, I'll see you when this is done. All right, guys, I just wanted you to see just how steady it got uh, by adjusting those burners. It was right there, just over 350 for the rest of the cook, and you can see how it uh, worked out pretty stable. Well, here it is, guys. Take a look at that. Pretty awesome-looking spatchcock chicken. Probably couldn't tell if I fed it to you that it was cooked on the flat top. Still pretty juicy. There was still plenty of moisture at the bottom there. Yeah, buddy. For breast meat, it's still pretty juicy. That rub's pretty good too. May have to do another tweak or two, but there you have it, guys. Spatchcock chicken on the Evo flat top grill.
you could probably do this on your Blackstone or Camp Shep as well as long as you got a lid that um, can fit the uh, chicken under it but definitely works really good and monitoring it with the Typher sink worked really well helped me monitor the cooking temperature and the internal temperature of the chicken so check it out if you got one of these even anytime a flat top go ahead and try to cook a spatchcock chicken on it thanks for watching check us out on Facebook Instagram check out the fire and water cooking edible creations down below stay tuned for the Asian umami blast coming soon thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one Thank you.